Kelly Clarkson told Blake Shelton to sing to her like they were having sex. Blake Shelton's singing failed to impress Kelly Clarkson when they performed a duet together, so she gave him some advice that his girlfriend, Gwen Stefani, might not like. As reported by People, Kelly Clarkson was one of the famous philanthropists who was honored at Variety's Power of Women event on October 13. Blake Shelton was given the privilege of introducing his longtime friend to a crowd of their celebrity peers at the Beverly Wilshire Hotel, and what he said about Clarkson left the audience in stitches. Kelly Clarkson was being recognized for her work with the XQ Institute, a nonprofit that aims to improve the American educational system by modernizing high schools across the nation. However, Blake Shelton didn't talk Clarkson up to the crowd by praising her for her good works. Instead, he told the power of women attendees a story about one of the many occasions he and Clarkson performed Don't You Wanna Stay Together? Kelly Clarkson recorded the hit country love song with Jason and Diane in 2010, but Shelton informed the audience that he liked to cover it whenever Clarkson was in attendance at one of his concerts. The voice coaches performed the duet together multiple times, and Shelton, whose manager is Clarkson's husband, recollected that his fans lost their minds every time he brought the former American Idol star on stage to surprise them with the duet. However, his singing partner was never as enthusiastic as he was about the reaction their performance received. I remember after the first time we did it, after I got done with my show I was like, oh my god. People freaked out. That was so cool. Shelton recalled. And she was like, a hey, good. In a video shared by Variety, Blake Shelton goes on to say that he and Kelly Clarkson sang the song together three or four times before she finally broke down and admitted that she felt like his performance was lacking. After they sang Don't You Wanna Stay at one of her concerts for the first time, Kelly offered Blake some R-rated constructive criticism by suggesting that he needed to get more in touch with his sexual side. I came out and sang with her that night and hung out, and after her show, I said, what do you think? That was cool, right? And she goes, well, you know, Blake recounted. I mean, I'm a limited singer at best, but I was like, man, I thought I was hitting the notes. And she looked at me and she goes, I want you to sing the song like we've been f asterisk asterisk king. Blake joked that he doesn't think that this is how Kelly should approach her role as a coach when she joins him on season 14 of The Voice next year, and she agreed that giving aspiring singers such salacious advice would be inappropriate. When Kelly came on stage to address the power of women crowd, she confessed that Blake's story was true before vowing not to ask any singers on her voice team to think about having sex with her. I'm not gonna coach like that, Kelly Clarkson promised. Sexual harassment is wrong.